What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Now, I really want to talk about this whole situation with the Myron and black women. And I want to make a point that a lot of you brothers may have seen when it comes to social media um, and content creation over the last, I would say 10 to 15 years. We have a lot of guys in the black community who actually come down on black men for criticizing black women at all. I've been a guy that people have come after um, and I'm not even as, as toxic, you know, historically as people like Tommy or others um, and, and brothers have come out and defended black women. And I've seen those dudes that have supported sisters and their channels literally get no views. Um, we could talk about the brother, uh, street media TV. He started off, you know, promoting black families and things like that and found himself frustrated when you had black men talking down on black women, he would come up and challenge you. And when he would go live on his channels, it would not be no sisters there from the black community supporting him. Okay. That's one. And then the second thing that you find is the men who are the most disrespectful towards black women get the most guys on their platform. Let's look historically at Tommy. Tommy has disrespected black women in many ways. And some of the women that were arguing with him ended up sleeping with him. Okay. Tommy would get so many black women to sleep with him that hated other black women. And you're gonna find this is the case with Myron, okay? Now Myron is going on to this you know, situation where he's being disrespectful to certain sisters. He's been talking out, the, you know, threatening the black community, come up and pull up, what are you guys gonna do about it? And whenever he goes live on Twitter space, people show up. Who shows up? African-American women, hashtag FBA show up. Now, here's an example of a woman who's showing up for um, you know, to, to talk to Myron as if Myron has some sense. Um, he doesn't. But look at the sister. She's not being disrespectful. Watch what she does. You do realize that she was arguing with uh, a Jewish girl the whole time and calling her white in a bunch of racist terms, yet trying to say that that Jewish girl was racist towards her. Black people can't be racist, first of all. So, but what is, what is it about? What is it about y'all that you like to pick on? Are you serious? That you like to pick on? Yo, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. We can be hold prejudiced. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on Weave Warrior. Look, this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. When, when I cook black people, it's for stupid shit like this. Look, man, I'm one of the few mother that holds up a mirror to the black community and tells them they're f***ing stupid, watermelon, weave warrior, hair-hatted, dumb nigs. Feelings. That's, that's yeah, yeah, shut up. I'm talking, woman. I'm talking, all right? This isn't the hair salon where you could just talk when you want. Shut up. Anyway, so... I'll talk when the f*** get ready. Right you weave yeah, shut up, man. Quietly. Shut the f*** up. Touch your weave quietly. God it's damn, bro. Anyway, I'm going to give you a chance to finish your piece, bro. But this is what I'm trying to say. Black women and black people in general have this stupid concept where no one can be racist uh, that's black. That's preposterous because the reality is, and I said this earlier at the top of the show, you guys think I'm kidding around when I say this shit. Black people are some of the most racist motherfuckers in the United States. They're the only group of people that will sit there and call a white person a an Arab a make fun of an Asian nigga say your eyes are slanted or call a, a Mexican a white and they'll say that shit with no f***ing cares. But you turn around and you say you stupid they'll go crazy. They'll go f***ing wild. It's hilarious to me that black people are some of the biggest crybabies are about racism but you guys are the most racist by far because you guys continue to perpetuate the very racism that you cry about she's saying that blacks can't be racist okay and instead of him you know dealing with her position i believe that you know hey listen anybody has the ability to be a racist personally but hey if a black person wants to say that I'm not necessarily going to, you know, judge them on that because of what we have been through. So I can understand her point also. I would want her to clarify, well, why are you saying that? He starts calling her names, calling the lady stupid, calling the lady dumb, all right? Then this is why I go after blacks because you guys are this or that. Now again, this is a woman who's just trying to debate, okay? But watch this next clip. Couché, what, what do you got to say? You can suck my for the fuck I got to say, you Guys looking ass rat, looking ass 
bitch now, and I'm gonna show you what bigger is. Since you want to be funny, I'm gonna be funny too. Y'all all want to be funny? I'm gonna show you what the bigger is with your fucking got guys on no. looking ass. Yo, she proves all the stereotypes. This is bad. Yo, suck my nigga, bro. It's fucking comedy. Holy shit, black women, bro. Yo, y'all should be ashamed, man. Holy. Then literally just says the, all the f typical ratchet shit. She probably got Cardi B in the back right now hyping herself up. <laughs> like, holy shit, bro. I got to talk shit to this. This guy's a n Suck my d That's how these boys sound, bro. Shit is comedy. Hey, bitch, Flawless, you've been a but You have anything you want to say? Uh, the, the, uh, you look like you're a black woman. I don't know. I'm hoping you're not like them. But what, what, what do you got to say? I don't really have anything to say. I do have a question, though. You're Arab, right? Yeah. How do you feel about the Palestinian? Like, I don't know. I just got here, so I don't know if you're talking. You mute me. Stop muting me with your ass. Y'all always trying to mute somebody when they go got ahead, something girl. to say. Go ahead. Go ahead. Girl, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. You no, stay we... over there. You stay your <laughs> me ass over there, please. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Because you look <laughs> pick me. You up here go. Condoning this shit, How you condoning this shit, like, girl, you're in the same space as me listening to this shit. You're condoning it. You proving his ass right. At, <laughs> at this point. Are you? Now I'm on his. No, I just want to talk shit. shit. I just want to talk shit. He up here talking shit, so why can't I? The f I'm not okay, proving nothing. Talk shit, I'm not proving nothing at all. Either. So, like, he want to be up here being disrespectful. If he gonna be disrespectful, we can too. I wasn't being. I'm not about to come at him. I'm not about to come at him like a. When he up here acting like a little ass kid. He up here acting like a little ass kid. Like, why are you so angry? Man? So you see Myron disrespecting all these other women, right? And, the, you know, the woman is, is clapping back. There is a secondary sister on there. And the secondary sister is being polite. And she's just waiting her turn to talk. And so he's muting the other lady. And, you know, the other black woman is, you know, like telling her, like, oh, you over there basically... Uh, selling out for him which she was and she's like well now i'm on his side then and see that's the point you see and i want to talk about that and i don't know if those sisters are african-american or not but it doesn't really matter i'm gonna tell you because um, everybody who's black you go over there trying to talk sense to a person who was delusional and hate black people you're not gonna get them to change right just like myron tries to do the white man's dirty work or the racist white man's dirty work and he gets kicked out of white only groups they don't like him either okay and i don't know what it is about certain ladies and this is definitely not all ladies and a lot of ladies are, you know they do be giving my net work but i don't know what it is um certain women can agree with the commentary that he's saying when it comes to black women and for me i'm astonished because when i was in the black manosphere and if you are the one that's talking down on black women oh they got a problem with you and they still do don't get me wrong they still do but look at that you have some black women out there that, hey, listen, these guys are still sleeping with black chicks if they want. You think that Myron on um, Fresh and Fit is not clapping black cheeks if he doesn't want to? If it's one he likes, he ain't talking like that. He ain't gonna talk like that to her until after he clap her cheeks and she make him feel bad. Oh no, they do it all the time. It's like the white, you know, they talk all kind of crazy stuff about black people all the time. And if they find a black woman they like, oh yeah, they, 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 they're gonna be different for a while until they get mad. And see, a lot of these ladies out here um, have to be careful because some of these ladies think they special. And I'm here to tell you they're not. Brother SPK shared this photo with me. I want you guys to, to look at this photo. Uh, this is a photo of America burning, okay? And America burning in black women will be somewhere watching it as it all goes down okay and um that's a very interesting perspective i believe that myron honestly believes he's going to be doing the same thing but whoever is let's say for example if it's the nick fuentes kind of people that's doing that want to know who's all in trouble me myron black with well, everybody that's black go have to answer for something okay so we need to get out of this as to, you know, it's all going to go down. I'm going to sit there and watch it go down, too, because we're going to have some friends. We don't have no friends. What are y'all even talking about? What are y'all thinking about? Who told y'all this? And, and where did they tell you? And can you get your money back for the bad advice? I don't understand why black people spend so much time trying to make friends with people 
who are against us and they are against our community and they are against the people that we support. Why are we even trying to talk to these people? That's why I don't waste my time talking to sellouts. I just roast them. I don't talk to sellouts. I don't waste my time having no debate with a sellout. He's already a sellout. What am I going to debate him for? He's a you know what, okay? I spend my time trying to invest into the people that, that think like me, that want what I want, and how to help and, and, and build relationships with the people that I love in my community. That's what I want to do. That's why I'm a Pan-African. That's why I'm hashtag FBA. That's why I love the black community. So I dedicate my life to doing that. I don't, got, I don't know how much longer I got. I don't got that kind of time. I could be doing some tricking. I ain't got time to sit there talking to him. And so y'all need to stop wasting y'all time talking to Myron. You women out there, all he gonna do is disrespect you. You need to worry about the men in the community that want to help you. And some of these women are not even, I hate to say this, but I'm gonna say it. Some of you ladies are, are single and you wasting your time talking to the man that hates you. Well, there's so many uh, dudes out there that you could be talking to in the FBA community or in the, in the pro black community. What's wrong with y'all? This chastising y'all ladies need to receive that that's going over there. Y'all need to stop wasting y'all's time. And I think that the reason why y'all doing it is one, you want to prove to him how smart you are and tell him a piece of your mind and some of the brothers too. And number two, secretly, you might be trying to give up some, I don't know if that's the truth. I hope not, but that might be a reason. But either way, you're going you're gonna to lose. You better stick with them folks that love you. Same thing with Myron. He want to impress these so white he gonna find. He already know they ain't, He ain't got nowhere with them. When they leave him hanging, and that might be literally speaking. He gonna learn today. So again, I, be, I, I, I beseech you, like they said in the Bible, you women out there, y'all need to stop going over there. What are you going over there for? What are you going over there for? So guys, what do you think? It's your boy Usher Jackson back at again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out. Oh,